So I recently just did a video where I was basically just talking about coding boot camps and how they've become a giant cash grab and that you're not really getting all that much value for your money and that you're probably better off going self-taught. And a lot of the feedback that I was getting on that video was that people attend coding boot camps because they don't know what direction to take, they don't have a well-structured path, they don't know what they're doing when it comes to coding, so people tend to gravitate towards coding boot camps because it sets them up in a way that they feel more comfortable learning and it gives them structure and it gives them a bunch of resources to make learning how to code easier for them. While many of these comments were genuine and were sincere, where people really felt this way, there were a few snarky comments saying that, you know, I didn't know what I was talking about. And some people were just straight up shills trying to promote the coding boot camps that they went to. And there was a couple people that were just shaming shamelessly plugging whatever coding bootcamp that they wanted. And there was even a few people that seemed to get aggravated that I put affiliate links in my description rather than actually putting valuable information out there. Obviously that person only watched that one video on my channel because if anyone that has subscribed to my channel and has seen the content that I make, they know that I try to talk about a lot of coding resources that you can use online. And most of the time I refer people to free coding resources. With that said, in this video, I'm gonna talk about three amazing online resources that are 100% free that can teach you how to code and get you on track to getting a job as a web developer or a software engineer. The first resource that I'm gonna mention is Free Code Camp. If you're familiar at all with my channel, you'll know that I'm constantly talking about Free Code Camp. I always recommend it as a great starting point for anyone who wants to check out web development, who wants to learn how to code, and who wants to get into it right away and start writing code from the get-go. Free Code Camp is really great. It has an amazing curriculum. It's very well structured. It's project-based learning. It sets you up to get job ready. They have a whole section on job interview prep and everything. Literally, if you want one place where you can learn how to code and one place only, I always just recommend people to Free Code Camp because if you go through their entire curriculum, I guarantee you that you will be job ready. They have everything that you need in order to get a job as a web developer. They even have a lot of new stuff that covers Python, data analysts, information security. They, they're they doing it all. And Free Code Camp has been around for a while now. I used it when I was learning how to code, you know, four years ago, and it's just grown and it's getting better all the time and they're constantly updating it. It's open source, it's a nonprofit organization. You get in here right away and you start writing code immediately in their integrated text editor that they have right here. You can see your results instantly on the page. And then once you work through some of their curriculum, everything will have projects towards the end of what you're learning. I usually recommend just starting from the beginning and working your way through everything. I started a series that I actually am doing walkthroughs for Free Code Camp and all of the stuff that you see checked off here has actually been done on live streams or in pre-recorded videos and you can check that out in the playlist that I'll link above if you're interested in seeing that stuff. But if you do decide to do Free Code Camp, you'll see that all their curriculum is followed by projects. So the first step would be you go through the web design certification and you do all the HTML, CSS, applied visual design, all these different courses, Flexbox, Grid, and then at the end, they have projects that you have to build with everything you learn. And in these projects, that's where they take the training wheels off and they let you actually apply what you've been learning from the curriculum. So it's really well structured in the sense that it's gonna throw you in the deep end sooner or later. It guides you in, it mama birds you, and it feeds you all this stuff and makes it real nice and easy to follow along and then it just pushes you out of the nest and makes you build projects. It has a great community, it has an awesome form, it has, it has a lot of online resources that you can use to get help with the problems that you'll encounter while you work through the curriculum and build the projects. So I just always recommend Free Code Camp as the very first place that if you want to learn how to code and get a job as a web developer, Free Code Camp is by far one of my favorite ones. So I'm gonna throw that in as my first one. If you wanna learn online for free and you need something that's well-structured, that's gonna get you job ready, that's better than a boot camp, check out Free Code Camp and check out their whole in interview prep section. They have data structure, algorithms, take home projects, Rosetta Code, they have so much stuff. So make sure that if you wanna learn how to code for free online, you check out Free Code Camp. 
All right, that's the first one that I'm gonna mention. The next one that I'm gonna mention is gonna be the Odin Project. The Odin Project is my second favorite place to learn how to code. Oftentimes people will make a big comparison between the two. There's a lot of similarities. If you go through the Odin project, you'll see that the foundation section, which actually used to be web development 101, but it seems like they recently changed it, covers a lot of things that are actually in free code camp and a good portion of the first stuff that they have you work through the basics of like HTML and CSS, they're actually gonna tell you to go and complete the free code camp stuff. So they kind of cross pollinate a little bit. The Odin project is a bit different than free code camp. They walk you through like setting up your local environment. They teach you Git right away. It's a little differently structured. And I'm even willing to say that the Odin project is a little bit more difficult than free code camp, but they both are project-based learning. They both prepare you to get a job. They both guide you in the direction to get you job ready. And they're both very, very, very well structured. As you can see, there's just so much stuff here in the Odin project, just from the foundation section. Like I said, they have Git. They teach you about the front end. If you go to the introduction of the front end and you do the HTML and CSS basics, you'll see this is where they'll tell you to go and do the free code camp curriculum right here. But Apart from that, just in the you know basic section, they cover a lot of stuff. And if you work through this curriculum, this isn't gonna be enough to get you job ready. But once you complete the foundation section, you can then move on to their other paths and they have a full stack JavaScript developer path and they have a full stack Ruby on Rails path. I would lean towards learning the JavaScript stuff because Ruby, while it's still a little popular, Ruby was very popular when I was learning how to code and that's why I stumbled upon the Odin project when I first started because when I began learning how to code, I was looking at Ruby and I, I learned a little bit of Ruby and I did a Udemy course on Ruby, but then I changed courses and I, and I decided to go more JavaScript front end stuff. But if you do wanna learn Ruby on Rails, you can do the Odin Project's Ruby on Rails full stack section, or you, I would just recommend doing the JavaScript full stack section because that's probably gonna have a lot more stuff that will probably open up more jobs and make you more marketable. Depending on your area, you might wanna check if Ruby's really popular where you're at, then check out Ruby. Again, if you're trying to learn how to code and you're doing this to get a job, it's always best that you kinda of check out the job market in the area that you live in or in the area that you wanna to move to to know what's popular and what's worth learning. Because honestly, at the end of the day, people will tell you that there's 100 different programming languages that are the best ones to use, but if you're trying to get a job, the best language is the one that pays you the most and the one that's gonna get you the job, you know? So keep that in mind. And here, just briefly, I'll go through what they have in the full stack JavaScript section. I'm not gonna open up the courses. I'll leave that up to you. You know, I'll, I'll leave the links for the Odin project and free code camp if you're too lazy to type it in because it's written right there on the screen. I'll leave the links in the description below so you can check these out. Again, these are free. I'm not making a penny off of you going to these places. This isn't Code Academy. This isn't Team Treehouse. This isn't anything that I'm gonna get a kickback from telling you to go here. These are 100% free and I don't make any money off of this. So as you can see, you have the HTML section, which I don't know if they cover the same stuff that's taught in foundations or if they go a little bit deeper in it, into HTML here. They have JavaScript, they have Node.js, they have getting hired, and the getting hired section is gonna cover a lot of interview prep and whatnot. So that's the second one that I recommend, the Odin Project. First one that I recommend is gonna be Free Code Camp. And then the last one that I'm gonna throw in this video is gonna be the Harvard CS50. Now, when I was learning how to code, this course was available, but it was way different. I do not remember it being focused around web development. I do not remember it being structured the way that it is, but I was also very new when I first tried it and it, I was very intimidated by it and it was very over my head at the time and I don't believe that it's like that anymore. I haven't done it since I first learn how to code and when I did do it when I first learned how to code, I didn't even complete most of it. But I did notice that now it's covering a lot of web development stuff and I think that's really awesome that Harvard is offering people to learn web development for free. So if you're thinking about going to a coding boot camp and you think there's no good online resources that are well structured, this is a freaking class from Harvard that you can do 100% for free. 
You see this price that they mention here? This is only to get the certificate that they offer when you complete the program, but you don't have to pay that. And honestly, certificates, they don't hold that much value in the industry. That's right. Those boot camps that give you certificates after you pay them $20,000 or whatever to do their courses, those certificates aren't gonna guarantee you a job. They're not a degree. Just like getting this certificate isn't gonna do that for you. So you can do this whole course for free and if you want to have a piece of paper that says you completed it, you can you can pay the 200 bucks. But honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my money on that. I would just do the curriculum. I would check this out. I would really, really consider going through this as another option if you don't like free code camp or if you don't like the Odin project and you want something that's structured exactly like a college program, this is gonna be it because it is literally a college program from one of the most prestigious universities in the world. So for all those people that are saying that there's not enough structured programs out there, here's three of them that are 100% free that will teach you how to code, that will get you prepared to get a job. And you can see all the stuff that they cover in this Harvard course. They covered C language, they covered Python, SQL, they covered JavaScript, CSS, HTML. They cover a lot of stuff. This is a legitimate course that you can use to learn how to code that's 100% free. All right, there you have it. Those are three resources that are 100% free that you can use online on your free time to learn how to code and become a web developer or a software engineer and get a job. So just remember that you don't need to sign up for a coding bootcamp and don't worry about structured programs because there's plenty of them out there. You can check other resources like Team Treehouse, Udemy, YouTube, just you name it. There's a bunch of stuff out there. Just start Googling it and I guarantee you that you'll start finding it. Avoid the stuff that is a paid ad by a coding bootcamp or anything that's trying to get money out of you that's outrageously priced because there's so many good resources that are either free or very cheaply priced that can teach you how to code and accomplish everything that a coding bootcamp will. And if you need more help, make sure to drop a comment down below. Join my Discord server. I'm happy to answer any questions when I have some free time. There's a good community going on there. And make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about learning how to code and becoming a software developer. And thanks for watching. See you next time.